Well, they get very tall, but in weight, a heavy one would be about 750 kilos. That's three quarters of a ton. You don't want them stepping on your toe. On a summer's day, just as the sun rises, tracks like these will shake slightly as hundreds of hooves begin their morning march towards the milking parlour. It's a new day for the dairy farmer and his cows. While they set about to make their milk, we pour into our morning cuppa. I'm here to find out more about the fascinating life of cows. There's more going on here than meets the eye. A cow at rest is probably one busy turning grass into milk as she ruminates or chews the cud. There's something magical about it, and it's why the dairy farmer likes to see his cows lying down for up to 14 hours a day. There are plenty of rural myths surrounding cows, and one of the most common is whether they sleep standing up. It's not hard to see where that came from. Cows often stand quite still in the field, chewing the cud slowly with their eyes partly closed. But don't let them fool you. Cows' legs don't lock in the way of horses and other animals that do sleep standing up. Here, though, she can get some sleep, and she will nearly always choose this bed. They're creatures of habit, cows, and she's not going to change her ways for anyone. And she has a big say in this place. The farmer wants his cows to be happy and healthy and as productive as possible. When they're not at rest, there's a good chance cows are eating. Cows eat up to 50 kilos of feed a day, and she can spend up to half an hour drinking up to a bathtub of water. The rest of the time, cows are up and about, walking to and from the parlour or being milked. But whatever they're doing, you can bet they're socialising. Did you know there's evidence that cows have best friends? They can recognise between 50 and 100 of their mates. Research suggests that cows use a mixture of body language, pheromones, a chemical factor triggering a social response in members of the same species, as well as sound to communicate. Cows are into grooming. Sometimes it's just an itch and a scratch. Other times it's about grooming one another to build bonds within the herd's social structure. The farmer works hard to keep the harmony in the herd, to keep the cows happy, healthy and productive. And it's the fruits of that labour that ends up in our kitchens. Get involved on thisisdairyfarming.com.